Hello, Mr. Mike. Hello, Jordan. How are you, Mr. Mike? Okay, okay. You feeling good? Feeling fresh. Okay. I got a question. Okay. So, where are going tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm flying to Bohol in the Philippines. And I will be taking on, again, Mark Lewis Ben, the number one Philippines guy. I've been invited to uh, attend the event PAC 24, PAC 24. It's like where they will uh, do the official rankings for the whole of the Philippines. Now how about this Mark Lewis Ben? Do you think he has a chance against you, the big Mike Ford? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mike. How do you feel about the match is going to be? Is it going to be hard, easy, or no sweat at well, all? Well, Mark Lewis Ben has been training hard the last few months. He's been competing in Vietnam. His numbers on the t on his pulleys have all been going up. So I feel he's going to be a lot stronger than last time. But I still think I have the edge to win. I'm just too big and too strong. Yeah. Mike, how about after the event at Philippines with Mark Lewis Ben? What are you gonna do? Afterwards, I'm gonna take a little break because um, I'm sure there's gonna be lots of after pulling after the event. So I'll give my arm a break, maybe four or five days before I get back into the light training. And then the prep starts for drum roll. <laughs> Derek Smith. Oh damn! The king of Cali. California king. Yeah, so that's the that's the main that's my my next main target. I'll be facing Derek Smith at the Challenger Series Southeast Asia in February 2025. Again taking place in the Philippines. That's that's a big match for me. I'm sure for him I'm like a a nobody, a pushover, but I'm here to show what Southeast Asia has got to bring. So, this uh, big beefy piece of uh, meat is hopefully going to be going this way and not this way. Talking about the after pull at the Philippines, after the Mako is bad match. Mm. So who you're like looking forward to pull again? Well, actually, my coach, Valen Lowe has two matches. Oh, he's gonna be there? Yes, he will. Okay. He'll be flying in two days after me. Uh, he's got two matches on. He's got a left and right hand match. His left hand is against Sean Chispa, the newly declared, what was he saying? 70 kilo uh, left hand champ in Southeast Asia. So Valen will be taking on him for the number one spot Southeast Asia, left hand. And then he has a right hand match against Ten Tan, the number two in the Philippines. So how do you think the match is going to go for Valen Lowe and the, his opponents? Well, I have to be careful with what, what words I choose. <laughs> 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 because they're both my friends and whatnot. No, I, 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 think Valen, I think Valen is bringing a lot more experience. Uh, on what you know, I think he is bringing way more experience. Valen's competed in China how many times. He's competed at... Uh, uh, all over, all over Asia, he's competed in Japan, he's competed everywhere. So um, it's the boys in the Philippines who have less experience, but are heavier than Valen. So one is bringing the power side, one is bringing the, the experience side. Um, but not to say Valen isn't strong, Valen is really strong. Even his uh, table, his table pulls with pulleys are very nice. So how I, I would say. Hand on part, um, I think Valen has the slight edge, but it's going to be a hard match. Both both matches will be very hard for. Best of luck to Singapore, my coach Valen. Best of luck to Philippines. So, Mike, another question about the King of California, Derek Smith. Are you aware of his past achievements? I'm very well aware. Derek is a well-known figure in the Armstrong community around the world. Um, he's beaten Tim Breslin. He has competed at East versus West on the main stage. He's competed at King of the Table. He is the King of California. 
He's also ranked number eight in the whole of the United States in the Super Heavy Division. So he's, uh, he's not a pushover. And to even get in the top ten is a very big feat in the States. So um, I'm probably fighting off a bit more than I can chew. But yeah, I think uh, I prefer to be the underdog. It puts less pressure on me. But at the same time, I'm also putting my reputation on the line. So I days this week I'll feel great about the match. The following week I'll feel nervous. And it was exactly the same feelings like when I went against the boy last year. But I only had five weeks of prep for schoolboy last year. So I took that match on a very short notice. Um, as opposed to this time around, I'll have five months. There. Yeah, I'm gonna be bringing my A game. Derek's a big boy. 6'8, 330 pounds, 150 kilos, around there. It's about the same weight, but he's, he's about a foot taller than me. <laughs> like so, a foot? Yeah. Man, that's tall. Like that much tall. The next five months is a lot of hard work to be done. It's sparring with the short Asian guys. <laughs> Short Asian guys, and I gotta go fight a uh, six foot eight monster. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll you always wish you the best. Thank you, thank you. From your fan base and all, yes. all the Malaysians like, and the Filipinos. Thank you. Yes. We all wish you the best, Mike. Yes. And I also, even the guys that doubt me, even better. Prove them wrong, Prove them wrong. please. Exactly. At least pull them or something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. As long as it's not a flash pin, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, the I goal think. is not to get flashed. That's the first goal. So you can go with the win. Yeah. Yes. So. But I'm coming to win. Otherwise, there's no point in taking the match. There's no point in me training like a like a madman. That's right. So my arm hurting, we can do that. So.